Hey all my fellow millennials. You know, the three questions that I always get are how do I find love? How do I talk to that girl in my class? And how do I keep my marriage going? These are the deep questions in life that nobody really has the answer to until now. Introducing Instagram love memes. Oof. Oh, my God. I just want you to listen to me. You're not fucking listening. We've all been there. Communication isn't easy, but it can be effortless. Always use your head, but not like that, though. Good morning. I'm gonna call you back after class if that's fine. And, and, just a reminder for later today's my busiest day out of the week, so if I get too busy to text back, don't overthink it. I shouldn't get busy until after 5, but I'll text or call you when I can. I'm gonna be in class taking a test. We get out at 12.20, so I won't be able to talk until then. Eat when you wake up. I miss you. Wake up. Don't overthink it means I'm a whore. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like that's an Onision joke. Virgos. If you think you can talk to a Virgo any kind of way, think again. They will go from polite and professional to dissecting the fuck out of you with their words if you disrespect them. So guys, keep that in mind when communicating with Virgos. But with all the other signs, you can talk to them however the fuck you want. Facts. Big facts. Um, so, you know, for those reasons, for, for family, for women, for children, I just think that we really need to rein back the crazy, like, pro-sex, sex positive, whatever they're calling it, roller coaster we've been on. And also worth noting that just for the record, social science statistics tend to show that women in committed relationships have more and better sex than women who are not in committed relationships because women are actually seeking emotional intimacy and comfort as yeah. opposed to men who tend to seek variety for evolutionary reasons. But first, I know this is a really awkward thing to talk about, but sex, particularly within marriage, is one of the crucial aspects of a healthy life. And like any other aspect of your health, sometimes things don't work the way they're supposed to. That's not something to be ashamed about, it's something to get fixed. And that's where our friends at Roman come in. Studies show that 70% of dudes who experience erectile dysfunction don't get treated for it, thankfully. Roman created an easy way to get checked out by a doctor and get treated for ED online. I know Ben Shapiro naturally talks fast, but I feel like he was especially nervous when talking about sex in a committed marriage relationship. You get home and you find me lying in your bed like this. What you do? I would ask you, is Donald Trump great or what? You know, third wave feminism has disabled our ability to communicate. But with a little help, some hard work, and of course, memes, you can finally not fuck this up. Thanks for joining us. I'm Damascus. Have a good night.